What's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow we are going on a day hike, and on our day hike we are going to be preparing different types of food. Hey, oh, pizza! This is what I say. And Bill's pork. And so what I'll be making tomorrow is I'll be taking some of this seasoned beef fajita strips, a little bit of Everglades seasoning for some down home flavor, and taking some potatoes and putting them all in a uh, aluminum foil wrap. I'm gonna be cooking them over. Oh, we gotta get aluminum tomorrow. foil. We forgot about that. We're gonna have to get aluminum foil tomorrow. Yeah, What'd you get? So I didn't get, get anything. Okay. Well, what are you making? I'm gonna be making uh, chicken. Burrito, chicken but, a la Philippe, but it's com it's gonna be completely raw ingredients instead of prepackaged. So I'm gonna be cooking every all of my ingredients from uh, raw ingredients, just kind of the raw diet, uh, really raw chicken, raw vegetables, and all that kind of stuff. So not really processed, prepackaged, but same sort of deal. Lots of fun. What are you gonna be cooking there, Jordan? Jordan, what are you cooking? I'm cooking these delicious pizzas. Pizza, make and bake, it make and bake. Four pizzas. Ooh, you gonna eat all four? Probably not. Well, coincidence, there's four of us. <laughs> what so, a coincidence. What a coinky dink. I'm making a chicken Boy Scout meal with chicken, potatoes, and carrots and seasoning. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And we will see you guys on the morrow. Or actually for you guys in like two seconds. Yep. Hello and what is up, adventurers? This is John from Florida Adventurers driving in my car on the way to the Lithia Nature Preserve where we are going to be doing just a, you know, casual riverside hangout today. And uh, just a little cookout by the river. So we are going to be making some very delicious meals. Um, we will show you how we are going to do that in about a second. And uh, I'm actually heading here now by myself and I will be waiting for Adrian and Phil to show up shortly. All right, here we are at the famous spot you guys have seen a million times. Springs Nature Preserve. Rocket's getting a head start going through the gate. Shalom. Hello. Jordan and Adrian have arrived. And Adrian's working on the fire pit. Yep. Yep, just gonna gather and chop some wood and then when Phil gets here, we're gonna start cooking. Adrian is busting up wood. Okay, so again. if you need to break a, br a branch up like this and you don't have a hatchet or anything, which we do, but I just want to do this for poops and giggles. Um, what you do is you find a good tree like this, and you wedge it in there, and just kind of give it a good, oops, hold on. There we yeah, go. solid break. Bam. It's also a really good way to break some longer branches if you need to build a shelter. Yep. Okay, so a while ago, uh, myself, Levi, and Mike came uh, out for a little night trip here to the Lithia Preserve. And uh, in an attempt to get some of those uh, dead branches off the tree for firewood, Levi used his uh, tomahawk. He tied it some string to it and tried to throw it up there to get some. And uh, ended up getting it stuck really, really bad. It's been up there for a while now, for quite a few months. And so we just happened to find the paracord dangling, so we're going to try to get it down and to further talk so, about that. Yeah. The catch to this is, if you follow me over yonder, the paracord that's hanging from the tree is a little too short to grasp. So what I'm doing, you can follow the paracord all the way up in the tree. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using my paracord lanyard that I had on my knife. And I'm going to use the excess string to tie it to this paracord so it's longer, and then I'm gonna tie a log to the other end of it, and I'm gonna to try to toss the log up. 
So as you can see, we're really dedicated to getting this tomahawk down. Square they work as up. a team. Square knotted up. Are we good? Yep. Okay. Squat! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What we're attempting to do is because we can't quite get enough um, like leverage to throw the brick, we're trying to slingshot it. We're getting really, really close to where we need to go. Um, we tied a 2x4 on it, yeah. by the way. I didn't miss that stuff. That we found in the ground. Uh, Alright, ready? Yes. Slingshot. Hey! Yes! All right! Oh, thank goodness. That's right. exactly where we're trying to get it. I can't go any further. It's going to snap and look like that. Just try it. Ooh, John. What did you just do? I think he just wrapped it over again. <laughs> Back to step one. Uh, and there goes the paracord. Oh, it came out! Yeah! Victory. Yes! Mm. It worked! Although it is a little rusty. Yeah, that's alright. It's okay. It's I'll stainless steel. It'll I'll deal. clean that up. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Phil's arrived. And we are going to begin our campfire cookout pretty soon here. And well, he just walked down the trail to look at the new... He hasn't been here yet, so... Okay, so we're going to use this method once more. We found a big dead cedar tree here. So what Adrian's doing is taking the two tomahawks that we have and the paracord that we got out of the tomahawk that fell out of the tree. Yeah. And we are looping it around the tree and he's going to go down there on the riverbank and pull and see if we can snap this thing off and use it for firewood. Coming down? It's leaning. It's definitely leaning. But it looks really deep in the ground. But we're trying to snap it. To there it goes, there it goes. Keep going, you got it. Keep going. Oh, uproot. Perfect. Uprootage. That's what I'm talking about. Fire pictures! Woo! Hoo ah! <laughs> Alright, so Phil's working on stoking the fire back up. And getting my stuff ready. So explain to the people what you are making. Alright, and what you brought. So I'm going a little more raw. Um, so I have brought some chicken and other ingrate jumps. I'm going to be making some it's either burritos, fajitas, or uh, quesadillas. I'm not really sure. So I got two of these deals. Um, I also brought my other ingredients, prepackaged, of course, some little baggies. Got my spices and my cheese and my sour cream, my veggies. So I think I'm going to be good to go. Um, it's just going to take me a minute longer than these guys. So I'm going to ahead and get started on mine. That way I'm not holding them up eating lunch. All right. That is some diced cubed chickens. Mm -hmm. And Phil's about to commit cross contamination. I am, but it's all going to be quick dog, so it don't matter. And I'm using, choosing to use the Wahoo Killer. Because his dollar and I Delta Defender. Delta couldn't Delta quite Defender. do it. This, this is the Wahoo Killer. This was shown Different to color. me by Jonathan Asaro as another cheap alternative to a great knife. Um, and I like it a lot. So this is my secondary when I need something done that's a bigger job for the dollar knife. I like using this one. Oh. Don't get rid of the seeds. Those are the best part. I know. It's the hottest part. Precisely. You do this one. All right, so Philly cheesesteak has all of his ingredients mixed up in his makeshift frying pan. And we did log cabin style on the fire. And he's going to put his frying pan right on those two. Oh, log cabin style. Parallel sticks. <laughs> oh, log cabin style. Mm -hmm. So you'll hurry up and put this on. Bang. Bada bing, bada boom. <clears throat> Jordan's making damn pizzas. Yum. Got the sauce. Pizza sauce. And then I have. She has. Cheese. She has cheese. And. and somewhere. And somewhere. Pepperoni. Pepperonis. That's not enough pepperoni. Uh, what are you supposed know, to do with like that? For four, for four pizzas? You get like <laughs> one, like making booby pepperoni? I'm going to put like five pieces of pepperonis in here for like four pizzas. But mm. that's my meal. Hey, Adrian, what are you making? I'm going to be whipping up some steak fajitas. 
little steak fajita meat, a little bit of butter with some potatoes, just uh, cooked in a, an aluminum sack on the fire, a little bit of Everglades seasoning. Boy Scout dinner. So now we have John. Getting I'm ready making. To... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, okay. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. I'm making the same thing Adrian's making, except with chicken instead of steak. And I'm making, putting sliced carrots in there too. So we're making a little pocket Boy Scout meals is what they're called. You roll them up in tin foil and you put them in the coals and they cook for about like 20 minutes, 10 minutes on one side, flip them, 10 minutes on the other side. And you put butter in there with some, I'm putting in a, whoa, that was really bright. A roasted red potato and Mrs. Dash seasoning, chopped carrots, chicken, and I may put some of that Everglades seasoning in it. That's inside. You can see I got chicken, carrots, potatoes, butter, and I put a, a hint of uh, dash and Everglades on it. So you wrap it up in the foil, and then I did double wrap just so no coals or dirt gets in there. And then what we do, take this little package of joy and you stick it right there-ish. Good? Cool. Oh, you don't even put it over there? 10 minutes on each side. 10 minutes on each side. Now you just put it in the foil. All right, so John's dealy do is going here. My fajita style chicken is getting there. It's almost oh, no, done. It's rendered down pretty well. Now what are you doing here, Adrian? Well, what I'm doing is chopping up his potatoes. Which, by the way, smell really friggin' good. What is that? This is my knife, which I've done a review on. On my... The Tonto Icon, or the Gerber Tonto Icon. Very nice, very sharp. I don't want to cut through the aluminum foil. But anyways, uh, I'm basically doing a scout dinner as well. I did cut the aluminum foil. Yeah. It's all right, you don't wrap it. Um, I'm gonna throw some steak, taters precious, and some seasoning with some butter. Precious. Right fire. And that's what I'm gonna have to eat. My meat is cooked. I'm gonna move it up over her. Mm. Some good meat, good hot. <clears throat> so what are you gonna make, a quesadilla? I am gonna actually probably do a burrito, but I just wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do. So we'll see what happens. This guy is smoking a lot. So we're gonna put him over there. Move, sir. Uh, the water and the natural oils from the chicken once it started cooking. So I had to render down. Smells friggin' amazing. Okay. So I'm gonna spoon me out some spoonage here. Great. Smells good too. That's because I'm a good camp cook. Now, I don't even saw any I'm gonna dress it up. Alright, so now I've made my burritos. They are holding together barely. My These whole wheat, healthy tortilla things um, that my wife gets don't hold together very well. So, But I'm going to grill them. See how it works. Nice and toasty. See how they turn out. Ugh. It's so good. How is it? It's really good. It's so good. It's a culmination of perfection. And? A little bit of seasoning. Oh. <laughs> but come on over. Yes, 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 yes. That smells awesome. My hands are dirty. We exercise proper hygiene out here in the wilderness. Oh, the potatoes are moist now. That's fine. Yep. Hot. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm. Oh my god. Yep. Good? Mm -hmm. Nice. The reveal. So we had one that started to fall apart, 
I know people are gonna say, oh, you burnt those. No, I didn't. These are amazing. This is the way I always cook them. All right. Take a bite. Here's the tester. Not expecting it to be that hot because it's been sitting next to the fire for 10 minutes. Mm. But how's the taste? Mm. The taste is pretty amazing. That was mostly, uh, mostly bread. So let me get some meat here. <laughs> mm. Even better. Even better. The peppers Did you put are in? really roasted, like a lot more than when I make this kind of stuff at home. It was really good. It's got a really, really smoky flavor to it. Nice and creamy with the cheese and the sour cream. And what's up, guys? All right. So this is John's stick mount he made. This is another homemade sticky mount sticker picker thing, and one of our cameras. So. We're going to go see if we can video some fish. <clears throat> <clears throat> Side in. So it looks pretty good. So what Phil is explaining <laughs> is that uh, we just spent the last like hour or so thatching the roof of this shelter. So uh, Rocket, come here, buddy. Put the backpack on Rocket. He's all covered in stickers, so that's going to be fun to uh, to pick off tomorrow tonight. Uh, fire's out. Roof is thatched. Said the same thing Phil just said. Yep. All right, so thanks for coming along with us today, guys. We had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us, and hope you had fun watching. So, yep, till next time. Hope you had fun watching us. Hope you enjoy watching, and have fun watching. Thanks for watching.